put on the fire. How about you do it with a good book? Good idea. But we got one for you. Yes, That's yes, definitely yes. going to be right up your alley. So from threats of global destruction to sheer wonder of an unexplored realm, this book series will have you captivated until the very last page. It most certainly will. New York Times bestselling author James Rollins joins us in studio this morning with more on the 13th book of the Sigma series. I actually have uh, your, your website up here. You can see all of the different books in the series. My question, though, 13 books, do you have to read them in order? If, if I jump in right now, will I be okay? Ah. Totally fine. Totally fine. I, I structure all my novels so that if you're a, a new reader, okay. you're not going to feel lost. Got uh, it. I don't think anybody's read my series in order. Uh -huh. Most people just, you know, find it in an airport bookstore, they'll pull it down, they'll read it, and they'll hopefully fill in the blanks from there. Yeah. So uh, feel free to jump right in. Okay. So Welcome. this one is the Demon Crown. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Always good to see you. Welcome back again. As she mentioned, the 13th of this series, your 33rd book overall. Yes. And for this one, the Demon Crown. So we talk about this as the Sigma Force yeah. uh, novel Correct. series. Tell us a little bit about the kind of the heroes of, of this particular Well, series. Sigma Force, they're a, a group of Special Forces soldiers that were drummed out of, the, out of the service for various reasons. But because of special skills or aptitudes, they're recruited by DARPA, which is the Defense Department's Research and Development Wing, to serve basically as field agents for DARPA. And so they basically protect uh, the U.S. against various emerging threats. Uh, as I described, they're basically scientists with guns, <laughs> for lack of a better term. All right. That kicks it up quite a bit. Right? Yeah. So when you write things like this, obviously you are coming from, a, a, you know, a space of some fact, right? Because you've got some scientific right. elements. But then you've also got some things that might make Homeland Security, for example, nervous. Mm. Well, that was the basis of this <laughs> novel. I, had, I, had, I, had written, I read an article about the top concerns of Homeland Security. Yeah. And what they were concerned about is... Uh, invasive species. Uh, those are those foreign invaders to our shores. You're probably familiar with uh, the overrun of pythons in the Everglades. Yes. Or, oh, yeah. or Asian carp that are uh, in our lakes and streams competing with our, nat our nat uh, regular fish population. Right. But what Homeland Security is concerned about is what if a hostile power decides to weaponize one of these invasive species and releases it in the United uh -huh. States? Uh, because that threat can come from so many different directions, there's no way to guard against it. Mm -hmm. And once it's established in an environment, as we've seen with the, with the pythons or with the Asian carp, it's almost impossible to get rid of. Yeah. So if you can weaponize something that can be really dangerous, uh, we have no defense against that. Wow. Good grief. How do you sleep at night? I know. Crazy <laughs> ideas going I put them in paper, mind. make you read once them. Once you put them on paper, you're, you're safe exactly. now. That's crazy. Okay, so Cody left us a question. Because yes. you know Cody is like your biggest fan. Great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be all right. It's, yeah, it'll be good. Okay, dear James, <laughs> quick, make up a blurb for my upcoming in 2020 novel, Cody. <laughs> you know, you know how like, read, you get the back read, of the jacket. I read everything Cody's ever written. <laughs> this is the best thing he's ever written. Because it's finished. Because it's finished. <laughs> I've been encouraging him to write. I told him he's got to write five pages a day, double space pages, yes. finish it. And I'll, I'll, I'll write him a blurb if he ever finishes that book. He will at some point. And speaking of finishing, like <laughs> we're talking about trying to figure out how you come up with these ideas in general. Yeah. Like, what is you know, I've always got my antenna up. I'm looking for maybe a historical mystery, you know, a piece of history that maybe ends in a question mark. I'm looking for that science that makes you go, what if, where's that headed? Right. You know, I'm looking for a, loca a locale to sort of crash those two together. In this book, a, a big portion of it takes place in Hawaii. So, oh. so if you're looking for a little Hawaiian vacation, you know, pick up a copy of the book. Of course, you're not going to get a lot of rest and relaxation. I was going to say, you might mess no, up. Really. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next book is out. And, of course, there'll be a book signing coming up. It'll right. be December 18th at Barnes & Noble. In fact, you said you're going to flip-flop. Usually you start your tour here, but now right. you're going to start at the East Coast and then come on home. Exactly. Work my way back. All right, then. Right we'll on. see you then. James, James you're great. To see you. Thanks for going Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Maybe All right. do a, a cocktail party with you. This would be the best <laughs> thing ever. I don't know what we were talking about, but it would be awesome. <laughs> it's a good step. Hey, coming up new at 8, the 